Hello and welcome. In residuals lesson, we have discussed convergence and looked at how the residuals plot can be used as the primary tool for judging convergence of a simulation. In this video, we will learn about report definitions which can be used for quantitative analysis of the flow field and can also be extended for monitoring solution convergence. We will discuss different types of report definitions and how to create them in ANSYS Fluent. Finally, we will also learn how to plot report definitions to screen and create report files. Let's get started. During the course of a simulation, you may want to monitor, print, write, and or plot solution data. In ANSYS Fluent, this can be done using report definitions. A report definition is an object that specifies a certain quantity or set of values to be computed at the end of a solver time step or iteration. You can set up report definitions to monitor the value of field variables or functions through specified operations such as surface, volume, force, moment, and flux integrals. You can then choose to have the values printed on the console, written to a file, or plotted in the graphics window. An additional advantage of report definitions is that you can use them to monitor convergence. Convergence of a steady state simulation is typically confirmed when solution residuals fall below the prescribed convergence criterion. However, there can be situations where the convergence of residuals alone is not a sufficient indicator of solution convergence. In such cases, report definitions can be used to set up monitors to track the simulation runtime behavior of flow field quantities. Steady state convergence of such simulations can be firmly established only when both the residuals satisfy the prescribed convergence criteria and the report definitions show a steady state behavior for the tracked flow field quantity. Let's now learn how to create report definition in ANSYS Fluent. Launch ANSYS Fluent in solution mode. Go to File, Read, Case and load the provided case file. This is the model of a T-junction where two inlet streams of air at different temperatures and velocities are mixed with each other. This mixing results in the outlet temperature of the combined flow to be different from each of the inlet streams. We can use report definitions to extract the combined stream mean temperature at the outlet. Furthermore, we can even monitor its value as it varies with the iteration count to check if it reaches steady state. That is, the value remains constant even as the iteration count increases in order to verify the solution convergence. Let's now set up the report definition for monitoring outlet temperature. The first thing we need to do to create new report definition is to select definition from reports group in the ribbon and click on new or double click report definition in outline view. Let's create new by double clicking in outline view. In the report definition dialog box, click on new to see the list of different types of report definitions that can be created. We can generate a report definition that computes a quantity on a given surface using the surface report. For example, temperature on the outlet surface or we can compute the quantity in specified sub-volume of the domain or the entire model using volume report. Force reports are useful while doing external aerodynamics calculation for computing forces like lift and drag. We can create report definitions using user-defined functions or expressions. In this demo, we will discuss in detail about the surface report which applies to most modeling cases in Fluent. 
To know more about other types of report definition in detail, please refer to the user guide. After clicking on the surface report option, we can choose from a list of mathematical functions that can be used for extracting the value of the required quantity on given surface. These include area weighted averaging, mass weighted averaging, standard deviation, integral, etc. For our analysis, we will select the mass weighted average function. In this surface report definition dialog box, we will have to choose the surface that we wish to monitor the quantity on. We will choose the outlet for our case. In field variables, we can choose the variable that we want to analyze, for example, velocity, temperature, heat transfer coefficient, etc. As we are more concerned about the temperature of mixing air, select temperature here. The report type is already set to mass weighted based on our previous selection. However, you are free to change it as required. The create group here at the bottom of the surface report definition dialog box is very important. The options here, report plot, report file and print to console help us to properly archive our data from the monitor. When report plot is enabled, it will plot the report definition in graphic window during calculation so that we can monitor the target quantity as it varies with iteration number. When the report file is enabled, it will write the report definition to file during runtime. Using that report file, we can post process our data after calculation is completed. We will keep them enabled for this demo. Checking print to console will print the values of report definitions in console down here during runtime. We can name our report definition using the name input. We will give a name of average temperature outlet. Click OK and this will create the report definition. These options for creating new report definitions are similar for other types of report definitions as well. Similar to the process above, we will create another report definition for monitoring the average temperature at the inlet which we will not show for brevity. To see the list of report definitions created, we can click on definition in report group and click on edit or we can see the list here in outline view also. Click on edit. Here we can see the recently created report definition and clicking on this will show the properties of that report definition. We can also create new, delete or edit report definition by clicking on these options. The used in space here shows the list of report plots and files in which this report definition is being used. Let's now look at report plots and report files options. By marking report plots and report files options when defining the report definition, we are asking ANSYS Fluent to plot and write the report definition to graphics window and file respectively. However, there can be instances where you would like to plot multiple report definitions in the same plot for comparison purposes or write multiple report definitions to the same file for efficient bookkeeping. In such situations, we can make use of report plots and report files. In order to create a report file or plot, you must have created a report definition. To create a report plot, simply click on plot here and select new or right click on report plot in outline view and select new. Let's select new from outline view. Here we can see the list of report definitions that we created earlier in the demo. Select one or more report definitions and click add to specify the reports you want plotted in the same window. In our case, we will select both average temperature inlet and average temperature outlet. Note that report definitions in the same report plot must have the same units.
Let's give the name as average temperature plot and in plot title here at the bottom specify average temperature inlet and outlet. Here at the bottom different options are provided for changing the style and type of the plots. To know more about them, refer to the ANSYS Fluent user guide. Click OK to confirm the inputs. A list of all active plots can be seen here in the report plot definition dialog box. To create a report file, right click on the report file in outline view and click on new or select file from the report group. Let's select new from outline view. The flow is similar to the report plot. We have to just select the report definitions that we want to include in our file. Let's select all temperature report definitions and click on add. In the file name we will give temperature file dot out. The file is returned to the working directory and is constantly updated during runtime. Click OK to confirm the inputs. A list of all the files can be seen in the outline view. Now that reports file and plots are created, let's learn how to monitor them while calculating the solution. Here, click on initialize and run calculations with 200 iterations. The combined report plot for the inlet and the outlet temperatures shows how the average temperatures vary with iteration number. Notice that outlet temperature varies over a few iterations before reaching a saturation value after which no more changes can be noticed. For steady state simulations, such a saturation of key quantities at different locations in the domain can be considered as an indicator of solution convergence. In fact, instead of monitoring plots frequently to identify convergence, it is possible to codify convergence criteria based on the report definitions using the convergence option under report. Please refer to the user's guide for details on how to add these conditions. In combination with the residuals, the report definitions can help us identify when the simulation can be called finished. Let's summarize what we learned in this video. We discussed what report definitions are and their types. We learned how to create report definitions using a hands-on demo. We learned how to plot and write multiple definitions to a single plot and single file respectively. Finally, we also discussed how to monitor convergence using report plot and report. With this, let's wrap up the lesson.